Well, here we are. We're going to be testing three Bocalicious lenses today. We've got a Nikon Z8, and I've got my wonderful friend here and uh, fellow associate of the sales team, Peter. We're going to shoot the 50 millimeter 1.2, 85mm 1.2, and the wonderful, my favorite lens, the 135-18 Plana. I've got a Z8. I'm at uh, f4, aperture priority, and we are at 500th of a second and an ISO of 250th of a second. Let's see what we got. All right. Upwards now for the next lens. So 51.2 is one of my favorite lens. I have it for my Sony and I use it 95% of the time. And we're gonna see what that shot looks like. So now we're gonna try the 85 1.2 and then the 135 1.8. So you guys can see the difference with Mike shooting at the same spot. All right, Pete, big smile. There we go, beautiful. A couple more. We're now shooting at 500th of a second at f4. Now we're gonna open up to the shallow depth of field of f1.2. Shoot a couple more frames, because we wanna see that super, super shallow bokeh. The background is just a creamy milk behind him now. It's really nice and beautiful. All right, a little bit of a smile there, brother. But I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, you're lactose intolerant? <laughs> well, that's why we're gonna use this great lens. <laughs> awesome, one more time. The eye detect working, picking up his left eye. Looking great. Awesome. We'll move on now to my favorite, the Plena 135.18. Size-wise, the 85 is still the bigger of the beasts, but look at that amazing, amazing lens in the front front lens optic. So 85.12, we're not gonna switch on the Plena 135.18. Stay tuned. All right, to wrap up our Bocalicious Tuesday, we have the 135 Nikon S Plena, an amazing, amazing lens. Let's uh, recompose our shot here. I'm gonna shoot him just like we did everything else at f1.8. In this case, f1.8 as our wide open. Got the eye detect on his eye. Get a couple of frames. Beautiful, a little bit of a smile there, brother. There we go, wonderful, looking good. And now we're gonna switch to f1.4. We're at, just for reference, 2,500th of a second at f1.8. All right, a little bit of a smile. Wonderful, there we go. Looking good. And that's our Bocalicious Tuesday. We've covered the 50 millimeter 1.2 from Nikon, the 85 millimeter 1.2, and wrapping up with the 135 Plena 1.8. Well, we're back inside, and yep, we shot with the three favorite lenses for kind of portraits a 51.2, an 85 millimeter 1.2, and I called it early, my favorite, the Plana 135 1.8. We shot them both at 1.2 and the F4, and we shot my compatriot over here on the sales team, Peter, and as you can see, we're gonna show you some of the images. The bokeh is just ridiculous at 1.2. Even the difference between 1.2 and F4, you can really see where these lenses stand out on a really, really shallow depth of field in sharpness and how it handles the creaminess of the background. Whether you're shooting at 1.2 with a 50, 1.2 with the 85 millimeter, and then definitely take a look on the samples. They're all great at F4 as well, but there's just something about shooting these lenses wide, wide open. Really love the look and the feel. Perfect for portraits, even for some action sports photography, but they're really designed for kind of portrait medium telephoto use. And if you're not a Nikon shooter, don't fret because Canon also carries that exact same line. Also and Sony. Also, right? Sony has those as well. Uh, they have the 50 millimeter 1.2 and they have the 135 1.8. And we're all praying, hopefully, that that 85 1.2 will be coming from Sony very, very soon. I called it early for me. It's 135 Plana at 1.8. 50, 85, 135, all great lens. All look a little bit different. If you look at my face, um, you can see it's shaped a little different. I own the 50 1.2 for the Sony and the 135 1.8. I love them both. I use the 50 more because it's more practical because it's wider. 135 inside uh, the houses and studios, a little tight. So until they make the other one in between, um, check out these pictures and let us know what you think. We you never know. If you can't afford one, maybe you can afford all three. And we have them for rent. If you want to try them out, 
So check out paulsboro.com or come on in and we'll help you out. We'll demo them and show you all the great things of using a medium telephoto lens from a 50 millimeter to a 135 and shooting wide open, kind of my favorite thing to do. Aperture priority and wide open, baby. Details everywhere.